Hi, welcome to Flight Test. We are Josh, Hi. and today we are talking about the HK010 Power Analyzer. It'll analyze your power like nobody's business. And it not only will analyze your power, but it'll also tell you the health of your battery, which is phenomenal. This is a must to have in anyone's field box. I'll tell you what, for about 20 bucks, it's a good investment too. So, say you go out to the field, you wanna check your batteries. Yeah. You wanna check your batteries? Yeah, you asking me. Yeah, I'm asking it, you. Do you wanna check your batteries? Yes. Let's check yeah. our batteries. Okay, look at this. We're gonna take this battery here. Are, is it charged or not? We don't know. I don't know. We don't know, let's find I, out. I have no clue. Check this out. All you simply do is you take your balance port here, you plug it into the side of this. The minus is, is where your ground is, and then it goes up to a six cell. So you can go up to a six cell battery, check this. The second you plug this in, it's gonna recognize you're going through your balance port. It'll light up, it's already on LiPo, you hit okay. Look at that, LiPo check or LiPo balance. We wanna check our LiPo, right? Correct. Correct, we'll hit okay again. Look at that, we have 97%, 12.44 volts. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, do we wanna see if the, each cell is balanced? All yes. you simply do is you hit okay again. And look at that, my friend. Every gives cell you a is reading for balanced. each cell. Now, now let, let's play imaginary circumstance, okay? Imagine one of our, our, our cells are off balance. Like imagine one is 4.2, one is 4.17, one's 4.15. Okay, you picturing it? Got it. You got it in your head? Yeah. Okay, you gotta open They're your eyes. They're unbalanced. You gotta open your eyes. They're not the same number. Open your eyes. Okay, you gotta see this. Okay, okay. ready? All you simply do is you go ahead and hit escape and you go to where it says lipo balance. Okay, because our lipos aren't balanced, okay? We simply hit select, go down there, hit okay. This instantly becomes a balancer. See how it's saying balancing? Yes. But it'll discharge the ones that are high and, and it'll get everyone to an even plane. Awesome. So basically, look at that. It's balanced. And it's done. It's done. Now, of course, this that one was, was balanced quick. already, so that's why it was so yeah. quick. But basically, you guys don't need to have an expensive uh, uh, battery charger where you can go through all these features. If you know your battery's off balance from checking this, all you simply need to do is just plug it in, go to the balance feature, start it balancing, and it'll equal, uh, equal everything out, and you're good to go. All right, so everything's balanced. Every cell is equal. Every cell is equal. As it should be. As it should be. Yeah, so uh, what, else, what else can it do? Well, there's a lot more it can do. Look at this. It yeah. makes planes. No, it does not make airplanes, no. but we do have two airplanes in here. You're absolutely right in mm -hmm. here. And we have one stock and one that's been a little, a little bit, bit souped up. All right, brother, let's go ahead and take this uh, this monitor here. Let's hook it up to the stock one. Okay. Let's see what the performance we get out of this one. Okay. And also the amperage draws and everything we got here so we can decide like you know how this performs. And then we can compare our hopped up one and see what the power difference is. Because the cool thing is, is then we can take what the motor's doing and we can roughly guess what it's gonna perform like in the air and make sure we don't have any uh, catastrophic failures because that would be bad. It'd be fun to watch though. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go with the stock one first. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Let's yeah. pop this off. Go ahead and throw that bag down there. We want to get this fitted up with a little blast shield here, just in case something goes wrong. Blast shield? And Actually, at least protect some of the That's plane. just to keep the plane from moving forward. Oh. Okay, because we, we don't want that to happen. We don't want it flying off. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And uh, immediately what it does is it gives you four options here. We're just going to hit OK because it's already on watt, And that's going to tell us all our different power issues. So immediately it gives you the voltage of the battery because that's already plugged in. But what we need to do now, my transmitter is on. We're going to go ahead and just plug this adapter in so we can go down to the JST. And now... Stuff is happening. There we go. There we go. It's initialized and stuff. Now, what we got is we got watts, we got volts, we got amps, and uh, we got milliamps, okay? So you can tell your capacity of the battery, how many amps it's drawing. You can tell how much power the motor's producing, which is your watts. How do you get your watts? You get your watts by multiplying the amps and the voltage. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and fire the sucker up. All right, okay. let's do it. You ready? Always want to make sure there's nothing behind the prop, nothing close to the prop, no fingers. You don't want to lose anything. You always want to make sure that you're completely safe at all times, so we're, we're clear on that, right? We're clear. All right. All right, let's go ahead and fire, it up. fire this up. All right. We're producing about 100 watts. We're drawing about 9 amps. And as you can see, the million amps are showing up there. So, and that's our actual battery capacity. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. We got 100 watts. Out of this bad boy. 100, 100 watts. 100 watts worth of power. Now here's the cool thing folks, the other motor that we're using, this is a 5.5 prop, the other motor we're using has a 5.5 prop on it too. So we'll be able to actually see, if we had a flatter pitch prop, the watts and, and the amp draw may be a little bit different and stuff. So what we got is we got a 5.5 on both of them, so it'll be pretty much apples to apples. So we're good there. All right, let's go ahead and get this other one. All right, let's get the souped up park jet. The souped up park jet. All right, we'll get our hand on here. Are you ready for this? Yep, Are ready. you prepared for this? Ready. He's ready. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, brother. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. We're drawing about 25 amps. 270 watts was the peak at that point. Thanks. Um, this is gonna go very fast. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Very fast. You know what we've learned because of this little guy? We need something that can deliver at least 25 amps of continuous power. Right. If we put something too small, basically your battery's gonna drain too quick and discharge too quick, and that's not a good thing. Mm -mm. And the other cool thing about this, brother, is now after seeing how many amps this requires, if we had the stock speed control and we pulled 25 amps and the stock one is like eight to 10 amps, right. that would not be a good thing for the speed control. Explosions. Explosions. Wood Overheating. Happened. Flames. Yeah, it really would look like a afterburner on it. Really? Yeah. Let's try it. So we know we need to have a speed control that gives, I'd say, at least 30 amps because it's drawn 25, 30 would be a nice cushion. Now folks, I'm gonna disconnect this. We've used a lot of terminology here and to give you a quick breakdown of what we're using, uh, we were saying volts, C rating, amps, watts, all these things are very crucial when you're flying electric airplanes because you have to have a good grasp on them. They'll help you uh, not destroy things, they'll help you get the best performance out of your motors and also not uh, shorten longevity of your battery, speed controls, or your motors. So, what's our first one we wanna talk about? Volts. Volts. Okay, volts, imagine. Imagine if you had a hose. A hose. Okay, volts is the amount of water pressure that you're putting through the hose, okay? That's your pressure, that's your, that's your, that's your force. And then imagine your hose, the size of it, that would be your amps. The bigger the hose, He's on a roll. the more the amps. That is the extent of my knowledge. Josh, will go ahead and take over. Watts is your volts times your amps gives you the watts. Watts is roughly power. So if you take your volts and your amps, multiply them, you get your watts. So basically after looking at that, we can actually do the math and stuff by looking at the volts that the, the motor was running and looking at the amps that was drawn, multiply those together, we got pretty much exactly what we were looking for, which is roughly about 270 watts. Tell me about the C rating, Josh. All right, C rating. Basically, the C rating on your battery in a perfect world, if you take your, your C rating, uh, in this case, 1300 milliamp battery pack, it's one C would be 1.3 volts, mm -hmm. okay? In okay. a perfect world, to discharge this battery at one C rate, it give you one hour of running at 1.3 amps before it's fully discharged. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. We do not. So most of the time, obviously, this one was drawn 25 amps. You can take how many amps it's drawn. You can roughly take your capacity of the battery and then find out how many Cs you're drawing. That'll be how long you're flying. And it's really cool. So okay. basically, you can use your meter to find out how many amps you're drawing. You can then match up the battery to get the desired flight time. Imagine you're flying a glider, a motor glider, and mm -hmm. you want to get a good hour's worth of flight. You can see how many amps that motor glider is drawing to roughly give you an idea how long you can fly and put a battery in that will give you long enough flight. Gotcha. All right, well tell them about milliamp hours. Sure thing, brother. Milliamp hours. MAH is uh, 1300. Basically, it's the size and capacity, how much volume you're going to be able to carry, how long you're going to be able to fly. It's your gas tank, okay? So basically, you got a 1300 milliamp. This is the 1C rating, 1 1.3. But right here, 1300. Basically, you move the decimal point over three points. That's your 1C rating on any battery. And take a look at this 2200. You can fly much longer on this. So it'd be 2.2 amps. 2.2 amps would be the one seat rating. You got it, brother. Conversion Absolutely. Did in my brain. So guys, basically, if you're looking for a longer flight, get a higher milliamp hour pack. Milliamp, basically, is what people talk about. Uh, and that will give you longer flights. 2200 will roughly fly you twice as long almost as a 1300. All right, well, it's a great little product. It's got a lot of features to it. And, you know, for under 20 bucks, seems like a pretty good deal. It's an awesome deal. And I tell you what, in the long run, this will save you a lot more money than it will cost you because basically it'll keep you from going out to the airport, frying a motor, frying a battery. Making a fool of yourself. Yeah, nothing's more embarrassing than going out to the field and throwing an airplane in the air and having to catch on fire. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, Absolutely. Worse. And this can save you from that. So yeah. you, you have all your ducks in a row before you even get there. All right, well, we want to thank Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. And uh, let's see what else we can put a huge, sweet motor on. I think that's a good idea. All let's right. take this with us. We'll see you guys later. See ya.